people are having to be extremely careful about things like hydration and the times of day that they're working outside. There have been instances of workers collapsing. There have been some deaths of hikers. There's going to be more people using air conditioning in areas that don't normally need it. Those of us that rely quite heavily on air conditioning are going to be using a lot more of it, and maybe for longer in the season than we usually do. That higher, heavier use of everything on the grid does have an impact. You know, it impacts people's bills individually. And then for the equipment itself and just the stress that it puts on the grid, that builds up over time. We have an aging grid infrastructure in this country, and if we're going to have these higher temperatures, you know, it causes power plants and equipment to work harder. And the lines themselves can, can sag in the heat and they don't move power as efficiently. So far, the grid has held up fairly well. There have been some outages due to heat, but they've been fairly small. At least in Texas and, and in many other states as well, there's been a lot of solar that has come online. You know, it performs very well in, in hot, sunny temperatures. That's what it's designed for. The concern becomes that, like, over time, can that last? Can it keep up? You've got to maintain this equipment, too. And if you don't have downtime to be able to run your routine maintenance, uh, then that can have an effect and you can have plants trip offline.